The truth for today is this. Your attitude determines the outcome. Your attitude determines the outcome. And the verse for today is from John chapter 16, verse 33. And it's Jesus speaking. And it goes like this. In the world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So the lesson for today is this, that your attitude determines the outcome. Now, if you notice in that verse, Jesus says that when we're here on this earth and when we're living in this world, we will have tribulation, meaning we will have problems. We will have issues. We will have difficulties. We can't avoid it. We can't control that and we can't change that. But what does Jesus say? He says, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So God is letting us know, hey, we cannot avoid the fact that we're going to have problems. But what I want you to do, God's telling us what he wants us to do is he wants us to have a good attitude when we're faced with those problems because it's that good attitude that's going to help us overcome them. And so we are guaranteed problems in this world. But the good news is that we can change and we can control our attitude and how we react to those problems. And so there's two options. When we have a problem, when we have a crisis, when we have a difficulty, we can either choose to have a good attitude or a bad attitude. And so when we choose what Jesus tells us to do, which is to be of good cheer, to have a good attitude, here's what can happen. With a good attitude, God can work with that. With a good attitude, we can be raised and promoted. You might have heard the phrase, Praise and be raised, or complain and remain. I'll repeat it. Praise to be raised, and if you complain, you remain. And so when we have a good attitude, we can get raised and promoted. Having a good attitude makes the situation better. And then having a good attitude makes us more attractive more attractive to the people around us. Having a good attitude draws people to you. Now, if you choose a bad attitude, which is what God doesn't want us to do, here's what happens. God can't work with a bad attitude. If we choose a bad attitude, we will remain stuck in our situation and difficulty, and we can even get demoted instead of promoted. Choosing a bad attitude makes the situation way worse than it needs to be. And then having a bad attitude actually makes us less attractive to people. People aren't drawn to people with bad attitudes. It's not fun to be around. And so encouraging you today, when you're faced with a problem, do what Jesus said to to do, which is to be of good cheer and to choose a good attitude because it's a good attitude that's going to determine a good outcome, a successful outcome. And so let me ask you a question. When you're faced with problems, when you're faced with an issue or a crisis, do you tend to choose a good attitude or a bad attitude? Just think about that. And encouraging you to do what God says to do, because he knows best, and choose a good attitude because it's going to give us the best possible outcome possible. And so let me pray for you in this area. Jesus, I ask that the person listening or the group of people listening to this message right now, I ask that when they're faced with a problem, Jesus, I ask that you help them to choose the right attitude, to choose a good attitude, and help them to know that as they do what you ask them to do, by choosing a good attitude, that you will help them overcome that issue, God, because you promise that you will. And so, Lord, help them to choose the right attitude when they're faced with problems and crises in their life. 
and then help them to trust that you have overcome the world and that you'll help them through that situation and bring a good result for them. In Jesus' name, amen. And so I want to take this time to ask you, have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If you haven't, or if you need to recommit, or you're like, well, I thought I did, but maybe I didn't, let me, let me walk you through a salvation moment. Repeat after me. Jesus, I choose to follow you this day. I choose to make you my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart, make me new, and show me how to follow you in a new life in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer today, congratulations. You just made the best decision of your life.